I spoke with Siemens CEO Roland Bush earlier, and I asked him about why here and why now. So it's U.S. based demand actually is serving the whole North American market uh, from out of, uh, out of Sacramento and then the future Lexington. It's passenger and freight. So we are um, not only loaded our, with our manufacturing capacities with coaches, uh, train sets, light rail, but also locomotives. And um, and this is this is the the next thing is of course not only locomotives uh, which are electrified, but also for the long overhaul. We go with battery or hydrogen trains. This is another technology which we are going to bring to the country. And um, yes, and, and then we are looking also for high-speed connections. Maybe the first one in the United States. I think the United States deserves a high-speed connection too. Well, since Siemens is a multinational conglomerate operating in so many industries across so many markets, I also asked Bush what he's seeing right now in terms of the global economy and whether risk of recession is factoring into the business. Take a listen. Well, the inflation is going up, the, the uh, um, interest rates are going up. But on the other side, what we see, at least for our markets, for our customers, they're all sitting on a high order backlog and supply chains are gradually easing. And so that means it's a good combination. Um, we have a big order impact, like supply, supply um, chain is easing and you have uh, a very, very low unemployment rate, which means people have the money to spend. So this is a, a counter argument against high inflation and interest rates. I mean, the big question, of course, is how is uh, uh, China coming over this um, the COVID uh, crisis? We believe it will be fast and the money, the, the people are start spending money again so that the market is catching up um, along the along the year. So I don't feel that we are running into a into a big recession. Some countries maybe, but not really. I'm more bullish on the global economy. We do have the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell testifying on the Hill today and talking about the possibility of having to raise rates higher than expected because inflation here in the U.S. Ha has continued to be pretty sticky. We're seeing some similar data coming out of other parts of the world, too, for example, Europe. Uh, what are you seeing in terms of the inflation picture at Siemens? And is there a point at which rates, whether it's here in the U.S. or whether it's elsewhere in the world, is there a point at which rates could actually start to have a biting impact on, on your customers? Absolutely. It could be. I mean, at a certain point, it will definitely throttle the growth and customers will then hold back in investing. Um, this is this is one point, and um, and the, the point that there's another increase um, for obvious reasons um, is well understood, and that could really throttle growth. On the other side, um, if you put yourself in the shoes of a um, car manufacturer and they have to introduce new cars, electric cars, I mean you cannot stop investing. So we are we are we are not delivering into the car; we're delivering in the investment. So therefore, um, this is something which we we believe um, has a has a, a more resilient uh, market.